had a traumatic experience, whether it's an attack, the way that Kirby goes through it, or if it's something like losing a job or a divorce or a pandemic or a war or whatever it might be that turns your entire life upside down from one second to the next. What Silka was doing, the our showrunner and writer, was telling that experience, how you're never quite sure where you are, you're never quite sure what's going to happen next, you are constantly on the lookout for when that is going to happen again. Yeah, and I thought that was just such a kind of very clever way of, of, of doing it. And there have been very few projects that have done it. Um, a, a film, The Father, uh, was another one that I felt like was had the same uh, sort of a, a similar conceit. And I thought um, he did that incredibly well. But um, yeah, that was the thing that was most attractive to me about it. It's, I love projects that, ha that can Trojan horse a deeper issue. For me, that's so fun. I love watching those kinds of things and I love doing them. And for me, on the surface, this show, you know, you can just watch it and it's fun and it's entertaining and it's a wild ride and it's a massive mystery and you're just spending every episode trying to figure out what's going on and you have to watch the next one because, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen next. That's totally fun. That's absolutely a way you should you can watch the show if you want. Like, that's completely valid. And it has that. And then there's another way of watching it as well where you take that and you also can look at the deeper issues. You can look at the deeper things that we're talking about. You can look at the relevancy of the issues that we're talking about. And I love when a show has both, when a project has both. And I really, I, I think this show does that beautifully. Those aren't how they should be. It starts with little things. And then big things. <laughs> and nobody remembers anything different. When you do play a character like this, you are kind of like jumping into some kind of abyss. You are, you know, because we, we've seen versions of this to varying degrees of realism and then, you know, the opposite of that. Um, so it's about where do you judge this? Where do you pitch this character? You know, how real do we want this to be? Um, you know, he's a deranged sociopath. So um, let's just start there. You know, there's also this, this other element where he's out of time. He, he is everywhere all the time. He's all knowing, he's all powerful. He's completely in control. Always, that's, his, that's the thing that gets him off, you know, that's the, that's the thing that he likes. That's the, uh, yeah. the impulse that he wants to satisfy is I just want to control all this stuff. So there's so much to play with. Lauren gave us a great kind of um, more than an outline. She really rendered him in a, this incredibly detailed way. So for me, it was filling in a couple blanks, working with Silka, Michelle and Elizabeth to, to round him, make him vulnerable and really weak at times and kind of pathetic too, um, to show that other side. Um, and as an actor, that, that, those, are the, those are the roles that you, that you want. Those are the real roles that you can kind of um, get lost in. Things change for me just like that. And then it happens again and again and again. We wanted that, to make this very voyeuristic. Uh, Kirby has been traumatized. She had something happen to her by a man who stalked her. And so we wanted the audience to experience what these women went through, what Kirby is going through, that somebody, that feeling that somebody's watching all the time. So that was definitely our approach. Having these shifts, we realized, okay, how do we do it in a way that the audience understands a shift is happening without revealing too much, without making it too complicated, but complicated enough that it keeps them guessing. So the shifts actually evolve and they grow. So we started out very simplistic and then we got them more and more complicated as the story went down went along and that was very intentional and as a storyteller that was very exciting to me with with to take that approach but also do it in a very uh, grounded and realistic way we didn't want it to feel uh, computer generated we didn't want it to feel uh, complicated overly complicated we wanted the viewer to imagine that what would it like if my world in a very natural way shifted suddenly and everything was different and what that would feel like I think everybody goes through some form of trauma in their life, and there's all different levels. So there's a relatability for, for everybody. Um, and uh, Kirby's trauma is elevated because of the shifts, which ultimately are, are a metaphor for what, how we deal with trauma uh, after the actual act. And uh, so to me, it was, it was exciting to 
to execute this, but also most importantly was to focus on the emotional relevance of trauma and to really understand from Kirby's point of view how she was experiencing this. She starts out very vulnerable and she gets stronger and stronger throughout the story. She is not a victim, she's a survivor.